In his three and a half years at CNA, Bill Comas has had some interesting analytical projects. Most people don't believe me when I tell them this. It was the first study I worked on where I was the project manager at CNA. And that's where I looked at marine mammals and sonar. Uh, how many marine mammals in the Gulf of Alaska actually here are exposed to some uh, important amount of sonar. Use some mathematical techniques that I became familiar with in grad school to quantify uh, that number of marine mammals. The one that really led to the most neat experiences for me was one where I looked at uh, oil supply disruptions of uh, important uh, oil choke points, uh, Strait of Hormuz, Strait of Malacca, and tried to quantify uh, how bad off the United States might be uh, if we were to have a major blockage of one of those choke points. His study on oil choke points is available as a free download at cna.org. For now, Comus is the CNA scientific analyst for the Navy's Readiness and Logistics Command, also known as OPNAV N4. I sit over in the Pentagon, and while I'm over there, I'm working on two major studies. Uh, taking a look at how do we make a set of indices of readiness. Uh, that's how well we're doing in terms of personnel, equipment, supply, training, and ordnance. I and mean, I'm also doing a follow-on study to, uh, to one I did last year. Comus discovered CNA while attending an Allied Social Science Association's and American Economics Association's annual convention. Like most economists, when they go on the market, went to the ASSA, AEA convention, was familiar with companies like CNA, and I thought I'd like it. He also likes those projects that can send him off to different parts of the world. For me, I like the idea of working with CNA because it forces you outside the confines of your building. You have to get close to the information. You don't get the same kind of travel experiences that come with it. Myself, I'm going all up the coast of California giving briefs and um, I find that a very rewarding part of the job because I know that I'm doing a good job because I'm out there talking with people.